Welcome to RPS video tutorial. Today we will learn how to check a number whether it is Armstrong or not. Let us see what is the definition of Armstrong number. An Armstrong number is an n digit number that is equal to the sum of the nth powers of its digits. Example Suppose a number 371 and your number of digits are 3. And if we find out a result using 3q plus 7q plus 1q. 3 will be used as power of each digit and so we write 3q plus 7q plus 1q the result will be 371 if both numbers are same the original number and sum both are same then that number is known as Armstrong number another example suppose the number is 3, 2, 1, 5 and your number of digits are 4 and so sum will be 3 to the power 4 because number of digits are 4. 3 to the power 4 plus 2 to the power 4 plus 1 to the power 4 plus 5 to the power 4 and result will be 723. These are not same and so it is not an Armstrong number. entire procedure will be discussed using this flowchart step by step start read NO user will insert a value into NO and uh, suppose NO is temp will be 153 since we are assigning the value of no into temp d will be 0 sum will be also 0 and we have used a loop here to count number of digits no greater than 0 153 153 greater than 0 condition is true so d will be increased by 1 d will be uh, 1 and n equals 10 by 10 so n will be 15 now again the condition will be checked n greater than 0 n is now 15 15 greater than 0 condition is true and so d will be increased by 1 d will be 2 n o equals 10 o by 10 n o will be 1 1 greater than 0 condition is true d will be 3 n o will be 0 and 0 greater than 0 condition is false loop will be stopped and final result of d will be 3 that is the number of digits of you know and now control is coming to no part again no will be initialized by temp because after completing this loop no will be zero and using this statement we are assigning the original value into no again here another loop will be started and we have used a nested loop this is the condition of outer loop this is the condition of inner loop no greater than 0 no is now 153 condition is true all statements will be executed and your r will be no mod 10 that is 3 s will be 0 s is not required here j equals to 1 p equals to 1 
is j less than equals to d condition is true because j is 1 and d is 3 condition is true yes part will be executed and here p equals to p into r p is 1 and r is r is 3 1 into 3 condition uh, 1 into 3 3 will be assigned into p that is 3 p is 3 j will be 2 control is coming here 2 less than equals to 3 condition is true again this part will be executed and here p was 3 and uh, r is also 3 3 into 3 p will be 9 j will be 3 3 less than equals to 3 condition is true again so this part will be executed again p, p is now 9 and r is 3 9 into 3 27 27 and j will be 4 4 4 less than equals to 3 condition is false so no part will be executed here and we have used here two statements sum equals to sum plus p final value of p is now 27 and sum is 0 which was assigned here sum equals to 0 and so 0 plus 27 sum will be 27 27 and we are coming here again outer loop 153 no it is now 15 because after performing this statement no will be no by 10 that is uh, 15 153 by 10 that is uh, no will be 15 so we are coming here 15 15 greater than 0 condition is true again and so r will be 5 now 15 by 10 15 modulo 10 5 j equals to 1 p 1 1 less than d d is 3 so 3 times this process will be executed p equals to p into r and p is 1 1 into r r is now 5 1 into 5 5 for second time 5 into 5 25 and next time 25 into 5 125 and now the loop will be false and so no part will be executed and uh, the value of p will be added with sum and sum was 27 plus 125 final value will be 152 we will come again to outer condition n will be 1 now because uh, after performing this statement n equals to n by 10 uh, n was 15 and 15 by 10 that will be uh, 1 we have come here 1 greater than 0 condition is 2 and this is last condition r equals to n mod 10 now r will be 1 again j and p will be reinitialized by 1 is j less than equals to d 1 and d is 3 and 3 times p equals to p into r this statement will work so 1 into 1 1 again 1 into 1 1 last time 1 into 1 1 p will hold 1 finally and Whenever this condition will be false, no part will be executed and sum, uh, sum will be increased by 1 only because last time p is 1 and so 152 plus 1 that will be 153. And now we will come here, no, no will be 0 because uh, no equals 10 by 10 when uh, no was uh, 1. 1 by 10 that will be 0 and 0 greater than 0 condition will be false and so we are coming to no part and here we will check the equality of no and temp 
now sum is 153 and temp is also 153 so another decision box is sum equals to temp sum is 153 and no is temp is also 153 both values are same and so yes part will be executed and this message will be displayed number is armstrong and execution will be stopped here here i am executing this program using c language these are two header files stdio.h and conio.h stdio.h stands for standard input output.h and conio stands for console input output.h main declare all variables initialization sum equals to 0 and initially uh, one variable d also will be used here d equals to 0 printer enter I am using this loop to count number of digits in NO. Again, one statement must be used here. Uh, NO equals to temp because after completing this loop, NO will be zero. Yeah, NO will be. 0 0 greater than 0 so the loop will be stopped and this statement is very important here because uh, temp temp after completing this loop temp will hold the original number but no will be 0 so again the value of temp will be stored into no while no greater than 0 this is the outer loop one inner loop will be used here r equals to n o mod 10 last digit of n o will be stored into r here and j will be 1 p also will be 1 while J less than equals to D. P equals to P into R. And J equals to J plus 1. Equal J plus plus. Sum equals to sum plus P. And n equals to n by 10 check the equality if temp 
equals to equals to sum if yes then print that number is armstone not Armstrong. Compile and execute the program. Okay, success. 153, number is Armstrong. Two hundred and fifty four number is not Armstrong three seventy one number is Armstrong.